Hello everyone, Truches Gaming here, and I am finally back. And what better way to celebrate the fact that I'm back than playing a game that took even longer to, for me to come back to than Sally Face. Fantastic game. I've been waiting to come back to it, and I finally have. Don't worry, I will finish those other games that I've played. Stanley Parable, Fireworks, that's about it. But... Until then, we're going to play Sally Face real quick. Not, we're not going to finish the game right... Let me redo the intro. Hello everyone, Truches Gaming here, and today we are playing Sally Face. Again. Because I'm back. Again. And you know, we just can't come back without getting our hands a little dirty with Sally Face. No. 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 Hello everyone, Truches Gaming here, and I am back, and today Sally Face is back, and we're going to be playing it today. We're also going to be finishing those other games, but not today. We're just going to be playing Sally Face today. So let's get to it. Sal? Sally, where are you? Birds. Boids. Burps. Don't wander so far, sweetie. I want to see the doggy, Mom. Can't you hear him? Why don't you wait until your father gets here, okay? He should be here any minute now. But I really want to see it. Please? Please, can I go pet the doggy? Oh, alright, Sal. Just give me a second to get my purse. Then we can go together. Yay, I'll wait over there by the trees. What was that? Was that the doggy? I hope that was the doggy. Oh, my face. My face is dripping. Oh. Oh, that's no good. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Oh, oh, yeah, sure, I'll hop in. Thank you so much for coming to help out with the toilet. No problem, Mr. Sanderson. I have it unclogged. I'll have it unclogged in no time. Wonderful. Herman normally would have taken care of it himself, but unfortunately his fingers have turned into banana peels. I hope there was a laugh track there or else I looked ridiculous. And the street corner is just so dangerous. I understand. Thank you so much, Larry. The bathroom is just over there. Is the room tilted? Or is that just me? I mean, I might be a little tilted too, but... No, it's definitely tilted in here. Oh, there's the toilet. Ew. Guess I'll give it... Oh, no! What is going on? Hello? You there. Please, help me. What's wrong? The water. It stopped. So thirsty. Don't worry. I know how to fix this. Please, hurry. This is unnerving. And I, I you know, I remember where I ended up in, in, in Sally Face. Uh, and uh, I don't see how this has anything to do with it. Well, that didn't work. Oh, that did work. Wish I could run. Then again, Sally does seem to walk pretty fast, so I guess it's okay. You know, I'm not sure if I am qualified to be pulling random switches down here in the sewer. But maybe that's just me. It 
It worked. Did it? How would you know? Have you done this before? Oh, oh no. Oh, oh no. Well, guess I'll follow the footsteps. This seems okay. This seems totally, totally okay. Sal, come closer. I have something to show you. Hmm. I know you touched my pony. I thought we were friends, Sal. So. I don't like where this is going. Yep, did not like it. Okay. Man, you're still having those nightmares. I haven't had them this bad since right after my mom died. I really think it's this building. There's something off about it. Dude, I know you're so insistent about it, but I really don't think this place is haunted. I've been here for most of my life and haven't seen any ghosts. But... But what? Well, we've known each other for a while now. I have to show you something. Come on. So I do believe in my dream, in that dream, I'm taking the role of Larry, right? The lady calls me Larry, the mom fixes the toilet, who works on the hotel, so she would fix the toilet. Larry's the one who witnessed the murder, right? It all makes sense, right? That In that dream, I, I was Larry. What doesn't make sense is everything else. I don't want to go with you yet. I want to I wanna check out, uh, what, what, I want to check out the living room. Fine, fine, fine. Ready? No. No, I'm not. I want to go this way. I want to go back inside. Ugh. Fine. Whoa, how come you never told me about this? It's where I go when I need to be alone. It's my fortress of solitude. Oh, it's a treehouse. That's cute. Awesome. This is so cool. I always wanted a treehouse when I was younger. Yeah, my dad built this for me before he disappeared. Wait, what? What do you mean disappeared? Oh, one day he was here and everything was okay, and the next day he was just gone. No note, no nothing, no milk. And all of his things were still here. His clothes, his tools, his wallet, his driver's license, everything. He just disappeared. Damn, I'm so sorry, Larry. I know how hard that is. Did your parents not get along? No, my parents loved each other. They hardly even fought or anything. It isn't what it sounds like. My dad didn't leave us. If that's what my mom chooses to believe, I know he wouldn't ever leave us like that. He loved us. I believe you. So what do you think happened? Look, you know I'm not generally superstitious, and I know you and Chug swear that the apartments are haunted, but, well, I think it's something else. Like what? I haven't told many people about this, but I know I can trust you, Sal. I know you won't judge me. Of course not. The day before he disappeared, I did something I'm not too proud of. My parents got some firecrackers and they told me so many times to wait for them. Not to play with them on my own, but I just couldn't resist, dude. I let a few out back and one ended up in Mrs. Gibson's open window. It killed her pet rabbit. Oh man, that's rough. Yeah, so I ran to check on Mrs. Gibson and she was screaming at me like crazy, as if I needed another reason to piss off that old bag. I felt horrible though, that poor bunny. Anyway, as I was coming down in the elevator, that's when I saw the demon. 
He reached out and touched me. I got this super cold chill down my whole body. I was scared shitless, dude. I thought I was losing my mind. He was gone as quick as he came, just as the doors opened. He cursed me because of what I did. He cursed me. Everything in my life was fucked after that. My dad disappeared. My mom stopped talking for a while. I had to spend two weeks in juvie for accidentally killing that rabbit. My bike got stolen. I missed so much school and I had to take summer classes. It's been one bad thing after the next. Ever since then, horrible things have happened to me or around me. So you think this curse took your dad away? Oh, I know how it sounds, but it's true. I know it's true. It's true. It's true. True. It's all my fault. My dad, the rabbit, Mrs. Sanderson, everything. Whoa, hold on, man. Even if there's some kind of curse on you, you can't blame yourself for every bad thing that happens. It's not all your fault. What did this demon look like? It was like nothing I've ever seen before. It was like a moving shadow, all black and misty, but had the form of a man. And the eyes were the worst part. These deep red eyes that pierced right through you. Holy shit. What? I've seen it too. I've seen your demon. No way. When? I swear I've seen it in the building. Just like you described. I bet it's linked to the other ghost too. I don't know, dude. What if we break this curse of yours? How do we do that? Maybe there are some clues around that could help. We can try to find out more about the ghost, see if we can get to the bottom of this. Sure, why not? I've got nothing to lose. <gasps> nothing to lose. My mom didn't want any of my dad's things in the house. So I brought out here for when he comes back. Huh, that's strange. What is that? I found this weird Gear Boy cartridge in the Lost and Found box a while ago. I think it reacts to supernatural activity. That was one of the last pictures we took together. Not long before he disappeared. Hmm, I better keep looking. Okay. A bunch of nature and outdoorsy magazines. Seems like Larry's dad is the opposite of my dad. The magazines are all old from six years ago or more. Doesn't look like anything else too useful though. Let's see what else is in here. Oh. A worn leather jacket. There are a couple of old concert tickets in the pocket. I guess that's where Larry gets his taste in music. Seems like a nice way to bond. I don't even think I've even watched a concert on TV with my dad. Let alone uh, go to one live. There's some weird small box in here. Looks like it's sealed shut. Yeah, I'll take it. What's in the box? I have no idea, man. It belonged to my dad. It's some kind of puzzle box. Never could figure out how to open it, though. Looks like there's a piece missing. Oh, yeah? You're right. I never noticed that before. Do you mind if I hold on to this? Nah, go ahead. Cool. Cool. Just let me know if you need to get it. Just let me know if you get it open. Of course. Nothing useful in the cabinet. Well, then why have it where I can touch it? All right. I only want to touch things that are useful to me. I'm gonna look around and see what else I can find out. Okay, sounds good. I sort of have to stay here and take care of my mom. She's super sick. Yeah, I noticed that. Well, let me know if there's anything you need. Thanks, Sally. I should ask Megan if she knows anything about this demon. I hope she'll come out today. Hey, Lisa. Feeling any better today? Oh, hiya, Sal. I think today might be the worst of it. Once I'm over this hump, I'll be right as rain. Which is good, because there's so much work to be done. I'm just itching to get back to it, said no one ever. Take it easy for now and get some rest. Oh, don't you worry about me, Sal. I've been resting plenty, and Larry has been so helpful, too. I'll be just fine. Looks like the machine is empty. Yeah, so is my tummy. Chug, what are you up to? Hi, Sally Face. I'm waiting for the snack guy to fill the machine. Can't start my Saturday without chocolate. I hear ya. I'd like to start the weekend off with video games and cartoons. 
Did you see the new Rico's Modish Wife episode? Yeah, that was great. I love that show. Me too. How may I help you, Sal? What's with the new cameras? Didn't you and your father receive the invitation to the monthly meeting? Everything gets discussed there. Um, oh yeah, I guess we just kind of forgot about it. That's not a problem at all. Though I do suggest you join in on the meetings in the future, if you're able to do that. Is that. Do it. Probably. If you can. You see, it helps to keep everyone informed and up to date. Anyway, to answer your question, I've had a new security system put in. For everyone's safety, with all of the recent events, the tenants were getting a bit nervous. My hope is that with this new state-of-the-art security system in place, everyone can feel more comfortable in their living arrangements. That makes sense. Thanks for catching me up on that. My pleasure. Have you seen any ghosts around? Oh, heavens to Betsy. Please don't tell me my building is haunted. The last thing I need right now is some promiscuous phantoms frightening my tenants. I'm having a hard time keeping everyone happy while Lisa is sick. No, 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 it's okay, Mr. Addison. Everything is okay. I was, um, uh, working on a paper for school. Yeah, that's all. Convincing. Whew, I nearly had a heart attack there. I simply could not handle any more stressors at the moment. You're doing a great job. Try not to be too hard on yourself. You're too kind, Sal. Goodbye. Good day. Who is it? It's Sal from upstairs. Is there something you want? I just wanted to talk to you, to me. Oh, all right. Come on in then, the door is open. Whoa. Hello there, Sally. What brings a young girl like yourself to see this old woman? Hi, Miss Rosenberg. I wanted to ask you a few questions, if that's okay. Ask away, child. I may not have much time left, but time is all I've got now. Yes, time's all I have, and even that'll soon slip away from me. That's a little morbid, but all right. Or maybe I'll never really have a grasp on it at all. Such a strange concept, isn't it? Time, sitting here alone, the mind can drift. A great deal. Wondering what's beyond the veil. Get too deep into these thoughts and the world makes less and less sense. Yes, time is an enigma, but listen to me rambling on. I'm sorry, dear Sally, you had something to ask? How long have you lived here? Long indeed, though it is hard to say exactly. My old mind can barely hold on to memories of yesterday anymore let alone the distant past. I'm afraid my days are nearing an end. Soon I will return to dust, and my consciousness will merge with the great and mysterious nothing, a void that's impossible for our little brains to wrap their heads around. And trust me when I say I've tried. Yes, a powerful, dreaded, empty nothingness. Oh, I'm sorry, sweetie. I have been rambling on again. What was your question? It's okay, Miss Rosenberg. I was asking how long you've lived in Addison Apartments. You know, I do remember when the Addisons moved here from overseas to construct this building. Actually, this land belonged to my family first, but I decided to sell the Addisons. Uh, yeah. But I decided to sell to the Addisons since I was the only one remaining. I thought the company would be nice to have again, someone to share the anguish of life with. I was young and desperate for a new beginning. What a foolish girl I was. You regret selling the land? A life as old as mine is filled with regret, my dear, though it all eventually becomes meaningless. Whatever happened to the rest of the family? Do they live around town? Oh, they're gone. Gone? Time it takes us all, Sally. Poor little Terrence is the last of his family. Oh, I suppose he's not so little now, but that's how I see him. As that young boy with a twinkle in his eye and a head filled with dreams. Now look at him. He never leaves that godforsaken room. Yeah, why does he stay locked away in there? He went to a little kooky after his family passed, if you ask me. The boy was so wound up, he was afraid of his own shadow. Terence worshipped his father and gave up on his dream of opening a tea house in order to run his father's apartments. Slowly but surely he began confining himself in the safety of his room, until one day he stopped coming out altogether. Yes, despite the cheerful persona he puts forth from behind that door of his, Terence Addison is about as timid as they come. Damaged by a life of misfortunes. But aren't we all, my dear? Yes, I suppose we are. Have you ever seen any ghosts in the building? Ghost. Why heavens would you worry about such a thing as ghosts? Sally, you're such a sweet young girl. You remind me of myself from another time. Do old Rose a favor. Enjoy your life while it lasts. Don't be consumed by the allure of death and its many secrets. I know, yes, yes, it's quite tempting and very easy to get pulled in. Why, you would say we're all ghosts, really. Just waiting to pass from this place to the next. 
such a thin membrane that separates existence and non-existence. With our frail bones and delicate casings, any small misstep could send us reeling into eternity in the blink of an eye. See ya. Though, I have one last thing. I'm a dude. Peace out. I think Mrs. Gibson would kill me if I bothered her again. Yeah, I guess it's probable. Yeah. Onward to the second floor. The people that lived here moved out after what happened with Charlie. Wait a minute. Where am I? Is this Charlie's old place? Is that what it said? Man, that smell is still lingering. I'm definitely not going in there. Fair enough. It is Charlie's old place. Why is the door still unlocked? I don't really want to bother him right now. He's usually tutoring on the weekends. Fair enough. It sounds like there's some work being done in there, like some hardcore construction. Chug's place. Chug is downstairs and his parents work on the weekends. Fair enough. No one's home. Okay. Oh, it's David. Oh, hi, Sal. What she's up to today? What what she's up? To? to today hey david have you ever seen any ghosts around yeah for sure the ghosts of my past keep me awake all night uh, at night all the time i barely get any sleep around here uh what about like a spirit of someone else who used to live here sally you gotta lay off the drugs man trust me you'll have a better life for it don't make the same mistakes i did what happened to your pants ah well they're in the wash still sarah was supposed to go get them but now nah, we just talking to nat jano Lost track of time. See ya. Sees ya. They're pretty busy right now. I probably shouldn't bother them. Yeah, I guess we shouldn't bother the college students. Um, they're either pulling all-nighters on their schoolwork or, uh, you know, smash. Like, no. Uh, head, head smash? Is that it? I, I wasn't one of those college kids. Okay, well, four or three is not looking great. I don't think anyone lives here. Maybe they left after what happened next door. What happened next door? Where's the camera? Why is there no camera here? What happened next door again? I do vaguely remember the police were there or something. Hey, Dad. Can't talk right now, Sal. I have to make this deadline for work. Oh, well, what up, Gizmo? What you watching, buddy? You must not be at home. Well, no one's here, man. It's like, uh, come on. What have I got to do? I should call Larry up here so we can meet Megan. Then I'll have to believe the Addison apartments are haunted. Larry, you there? I'm here. What's up? Can you come up to 504? Sure, my mom just took her medicine. She'll be passed out for a while anyway. I'll be right up. So what is it you wanted to show me? Come on, she's in the bathroom. She? Just come on. Damn, these fifth floor rooms have seen better days. Shh. What? Just wait a minute. Megan, are you here? Hello? I want you to meet my friend Larry. I don't think there's anything in here, dude. She might be afraid. She could be pretty shy. Though I haven't been able to get her to come out in a while now. Hope she's okay. So you came up. So you come up to this moldy bathroom to talk to a dead girl. How often do you come up here? I've been able to talk to her a few times, but like I said, she hasn't been around lately. 
Hmm. I'm not crazy, Larry. I'm gonna prove this to you. Hey, I never said you were crazy, man. As weird as this is, I believe you, okay? You're my best bud, and if this helps at all with finding my dad, then I'm all for it. I really thought we'd be able to talk to her today. I just had this feeling. Dude, know who you should talk with? Todd. He's probably the smartest kid I know, and he's also into supernatural stuff like you are. I bet he could help somehow. Todd? Really? Huh. I never expected that he would be believe that stuff. He always seems so... Normal? Rational? Huh. Yeah, I guess so. Okay, well, I'll go talk to him and see what I can find out. Alright, I'm gonna head back downstairs and make sure my mom's alright. Let me know if you find anything. Will do. Hey, Sally Face. Sorry it took me a minute to answer. I was wrapping up tutoring this. I was wrapping up a tutoring session with Ashley. Have you two met? Hey, I'm Ash. You must be Sally Face. I've heard so much about you. I, um, me? <laughs> you have? Yeah, all good things, I swear. I'm glad I finally got to meet you. Er, me, me too, or er, you too. I mean, I mean, it's uh, nice to meet you <laughs> as well. Well, I'd love to stay and chat more, but I've got to get going. Thanks for helping me out today, Todd. No problem. We can work more on algebra next week. Sounds good. I'll see you guys later. Hopefully, I'll run into you again soon, Ashley. Fa I mean, Sally. Fa I'm Ashley. Fa oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Enjoy the weekend, boys. You too. You're right, Sal. You seem a bit anxious. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm good. I'm cool. Okay, so what brings you this way? Ash seems nice. Is she a freshman too? What is she like? Her full name is Ashley Campbell. Anyway, she's a freshman. Like us. And an overall nice person. She has some trouble with math, so I've been tutoring her for the past couple of weeks. In exchange, she occasionally assists me with my art assignments. She sounds like a great friend. Sure, I suppose so. You didn't come here to talk about Ashley, though, so what's up? Oh, right. I see dead people. Are you referring to Mrs. Sanderson? No, it's something else. This building is haunted. I'm trying to find out more about ghosts here. Ah, I see. I need your help. Thank you for telling me your story. I think I may be of some assistance with your exploration of the paranormal. Specifically, I have a suspicion that an apparition resides in my bedroom. Huh? Really? Yes, it does seem to be a strange coincidence that your Megan and my apparition are both found in bathrooms. However, it could be also that the water pipes act as some sort of conductor for them. Though, that is only speculation on my part. Do you have the Gear Boy cartridge with you now? Yeah. Perfect. Let's go check out the bathroom. What do you usually do to call upon Megan? Does the girl boy always light up when she's near? It doesn't light up every time. Usually I just start talking to her. Sometimes she comes out, sometimes she doesn't. Okay, go ahead and try the same thing here so we can attempt to summon the spirit. Hello, is anyone here with us? We're not going to hurt you. We're your friends. Hello, is anyone there? Nothing is happening and the game isn't lighting up either. Hmm, I have an idea. Let me see that. I bet I can modify your gear boy to help better detect supernatural hot spots. Cool, sounds good to me. I'll need two things in order to complete the alteration. First, I'll need something to amplify the device's reception. And second, something to boost its electrical output. So like an antenna and a battery pack? Sure, I'll be in my room once you're ready. Hmm, interesting. Todd's parents are in there. I don't want to bother them. I like your fish. That's Bob. He's okay. My parents insisted that I needed more nature in my life to counterbalance all this technology, as they put it. I don't think I have any things. I'll be right back. I was hoping I could ask him if he believes in ghosts, but I guess he does. He also seems to believe in aliens and possibly Bigfoot, judging by his pictures on the wall. 
Yo, Chug, have you seen any ghosts lately? Nah, not really. I know she's your friend, but Megan scares my pants off. I just stay in my room most times. Ever seen a demon with red eyes? What? Heck no. Are you trying to give me nightmares? See you later then, Chuck. Walkie talkie. That antenna is a bit too small for our purposes. Puzzle box. That's an interesting box, but we need to find something longer and much thinner. Key card. Although the card does have a magnetic strip, I'm afraid this won't work for what we need. Well, shoot. What about power? Would a walkie talkie work? Yes, the battery from your walkie talkie will work perfectly. Good thinking, Sally Face. Oh. Alright. Let me find something long and stick-like, I guess. Mind if I borrow your antenna from your scanner? Uh, I guess that'd be okay. Okay, hold up, hold up. It did not have a prompt for the scanner. At least I didn't see one. Yes, this will work perfectly. With the two components you retrieved and my own equipment, I can adequately make the modifications to the gear boy I spoke of earlier. Give me a moment to get it ready. Okay, all set. Behold the Super Gear Boy. Um, cool. Don't worry, you can still play games on it. It'll on, on, it'll only be in ghost hunting mode while this strange cartridge is in it. Oh, awesome. You had me worried for a second. However, I unfortunately needed a, new, a few extra parts from your walkie-talkie and wasn't able to salvage it. I hope that is alright. Larry's not going to be so happy about that. It's okay, though. It's for a good cause. Wonderful. Now, for the best results, you'll need to hold the system out with the antenna. I, I didn't read that. I didn't read the last couple words. Uh, to do so, press the shift button. The screen will glow if it detects any paranormal frequencies in the close proximity. While it's flashing, press that R button there to produce a large electrical discharge. If my theory is correct, then the surge of electricity will provide an ample source of power to energize nearby apparitions and apparitions. And possibly other supernatural elements as well. Okay, I think I get the gist of it. Time for me to try it in every room. I suggest that we take it for a test run in my bathroom. Sounds good. Whenever you're ready, hold the super gear boy by pressing shift. Hmm, maybe I... Oh. It worked. Holy crap. Hello, what's the matter? I never thought he'd kill them. It, I, it's all my fault. Who? Stacy and her daughter. Oh God, what a fool I was to fall for a married woman. It's never a crime to follow your heart. You must be a romantic, like I was. It's kind of you to say, but I know better than that. We want to help you. Why haven't you left this place? We can never leave. What do you mean? You can't pass on? What's keeping you here? Have you seen a demon with red eyes? Can you tell us anything? No, 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 no. What? What is it? He's here. Whoa, who, the red-eye man? The one who killed Stacy and your daughter? I have to go. I'm sorry. That was a fully formed and conscious apparition. I've never seen anything like that. You okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. It's just one thing to read about in the paranormal and formulate theories and a whole other thing to actually experience it. I know what you mean. It's a lot to take in. Well, we have some work to do. I think I've had my fill for excitement for today, so I'll stay here and do some research. I want to look into the history of the Addison Apartments to see if I can find anything about past residents and the supposed murders. That'd be really helpful. While you do that, I'm going to search for more supernatural hotspots. Perfect. Oh, and by the way, I noticed some extraneous static around the game cartridge. You may want to check it out to make sure it's okay. Todd modified my gear boy to detect supernatural hospital. Yeah. I could play it. Oh. In Seeking Providence. He knew not why he was drawn to this place, yet he could not prevent his feet from treading the dirt path before him. Perhaps it was simply curiosity, or perhaps it was destiny. Sorry, members only. Well, okay then. Sounds like someone is crying. I better go check to make sure they're okay. All these rooms look the same.
Oh, Lost Woods style. Hello, miss. Are you okay? Who are you? Pardon my rudeness, ma'am. My name is Gregory Montanagu. Mo Mo yeah. I didn't mean to introduce... To, to intrude on you. It's just that I heard crying and I wanted to make sure everything was okay. That's kind of you. I take it you're not with the men of this church. No, ma'am. That's for the best. It's terrible what goes on in this place. It keeps me up at night. I'm beginning to fear for mine and my daughter's safety. I've tried to reason with them. I've reached my wit's end. I understand. I lost my family last year in the big factory fire. It breaks my heart to see a kind lady such as yourself so broken up. I'd like to help however I can. You just need to tell me what you need. That's awful kind of you, De uh, Mr. Montanagu. Uh, I'm dearly sorry about your family. Please, call me Greg. Pleasure to meet you, Greg. I'm Stacy Holmes. You couldn't have come along at a better time. You must be an angel. Just a humble farmer. That's glad to be helpful to a nice folk like you. The pleasure is all mine. Trying to find any records relying, uh, relating to the Addison Apartments. I probably need to act the police database as well, so this could take some time. Check back in later. Fair enough. I'd hate to disturb you. Whoa. Um, what? That was weird. Whoa. Creepy. Hello. They didn't look good. No, it did not. Mm-mm. Oh my, what is that horrific device you have? It's, uh, well, it's sort of hard to explain. You really shouldn't tamper with things you don't understand. Are you okay? Is anything okay? I haven't been in a long time. I meant, yes, I know, Sally. I'm not going to drop dead on you. Not today, at least. Okay. Uh. You know, I think I, I, I got a game to play. A different, another one. A different one. She desperately sought. A place amongst the council, so the aspiring witch traveled deep into the castle for the initiation trial to retrieve the book of forgotten truths. Ooh. First of all. You think, oh man, this Chris, this is easy. How could you mess this up, bro? This does not control well. Ooh. Ooh. Come on. It's not like this is a control stick, okay? I'm using mouse and keyboard. Well, I'm using keyboard. And I have buttons. So the button gets pressed. This thing goes. Look at that. Oh, 
Also, is this a lady? Ooh! Because... She has seen better days. Are you kidding me? First of all, can we just agree that, like, there's no way I should have been hit by the spikes there? Hmm. I have retrieved the Book of the Forgotten Truths. Will you not see my worth now? The Council recognizes the great resolve you've shown us today. Let this book stand as a testament of your place amongst, uh, among our ranks from henceforth. May our sights pierce the heavens, and our reach be infinite and everlasting. For we are the devourers of God. Ugh, yikes. I can only imagine. Of course, yep. What the? Yeah, that's unnerving, isn't it? Devour? I got an achievement on Steam that says Devour. But for now, I'll just play this other game here. A young occultist found herself tangled in the bowels of the castle, searching for the final components of the council required. Oh, that the council required, you get it. More spikes, just what I needed. Okay. This is a weird... Ow. This is a weird part of the game. Um... Like... It's just... It seems a little... Ow. Random. These little 8-bit portions. At the same time, though, I guess... Ow. At the same time, though, I guess I get it. You know, the Game Boy is a big part of the game. Ow. It's a big part of the game. It so it makes sense that ow. <laughs> Let me tell you, this character literally moves on a dime. Okay. Oh, really? Baited me. Sh shiitake mushrooms. I'm not gonna lie, these little mazes right here, worst part of the game. Is it because I'm bad? Yeah. Y'all don't understand though. Either this part is built for controller, right, and you can go slow with controller or something, or this part is meant to take forever, and if this part's meant to take forever, I'm not down for that. I'm fast paced. I'm like Sonic the Hedgehog. Yay. I have retrieved the remaining assets. 
Very good. The preparations are now complete. Stay within the circle while we perform the summoning. I understand. This person's definitely gonna die. Oh. Worse. Worse than death. Got it. Great. Great. Uh, where was I? Oh, yes. Checking out his bathroom. His bathroom is clean. So I got bad news about your walkie-talkie. Check out the super gear boy. Todd made that? That's pretty awesome. Like, wait, is that my walkie-talkie? Oh, yeah, he needed the parts for the upgrade. I hope you don't mind. I can get his new ones. Damn. Well, that's okay. Hopefully, it will help find out more about these ghosts and my curse. Agreed. Hasta la vista, baby. Oh, hello. Sal? Who are you? Are you Jim Johnson? No, 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 Just when I thought I was getting used to seeing ghosts, and then that happens. Whatever that was, my life is weird. Agreed. Well, I should probably go check in with Todd again and see if he's found anything. But first, I'm going to play another game. And the mysterious old woman gazed once again into Jim's eyes and said, If you can find the door this key unlocks, we will share the secrets of the universe with you. beautiful toes. Oh, that didn't work. Wait a minute, where am I supposed to go? Oh, this way. Duh. Use key. I, I had a key apparently. Yay. Remember the red ball. I have to remember that. I don't know what the red ball is or where there's a red ball, but I have to remember it. Well, I've checked everywhere I can get into now for the for this, you know. So, um, yeah. Time to just go talk to Todd. Yo, T Dog. It's strange, but I can't find any. It's strange, but I can't find any reports of past murders. The only ones that come up are, is our friend Charlie. But look at this photo of him on the public record. What the? It gets even weirder. 
There's no trace of any of the officers that were here the day Mrs. Sanderson was killed, not even in the classified police records. It's as if they weren't even here at all, or like they don't even exist. How is that possible? I'm not entirely sure, but I did find one interesting thing. It's a missing person case from 1987. Megan Holmes, age 7, lived in Addison Apartments with her parents, Luke and Stacy. It looks like it may be your little friend from upstairs. She must be the daughter that Greg from my bathroom was telling us about. The stories line up, right? Well, here's where it gets weird again. There's an update to the report. One day after the original was filed, stating that the girl was found dead in Wendigo Lake, that's a few miles south of here, along with her parents. Says they had been fishing and fell into the river and drowned. Some kind of mudslide or something. That's definitely her. Wait a second. I've seen that necklace before. I know I have. She's never wearing it when I talk to her, but I've seen it somewhere else. Since you haven't been able to summon her, even with the Super Gear Boy, perhaps finding that necklace will help somehow. That actually makes a lot of sense. It's something she had connection to when she was alive. Now I just need to remember where the hell I saw that thing. Addison? About Addison T. Everyone seems to love your tea. You should open up a little shop in town or something. I bet you'd do really well. What a fine young chap you are, Sal. You know, I don't often talk about this, but it was once my dream to do just such a thing. Though once my father passed, I decided to carry out his dream of maintaining the Addison Apartments. Don't you think your dad would have wanted you to follow your own aspirations? Yes, I suppose he would have. Though it's much too late for that now, I couldn't possibly abandon this place. You could always sell it to someone who would take good care of it and then use that money to start your business. Well, come take a gander at our own little entrepreneur in the house. You're a true inspiration, young sir. However, I'm quite happy with my life here. I get to keep father's dream going and also make my tea for the tenants. It's sort of the best of both worlds. Oh yeah, I suppose so. Hey Terrence, no one has called me by that in a long time. Huh, I'd almost forgotten my own name for a moment. I just wanted you to know that I understand what it's like to be afraid, to hide away from the world. And if you ever want to talk, I'm here for you. Thank you, Sal. You're a good person. A true friend. Well, that's very sweet. I knew I saw that necklace somewhere. Now Larry will see Megan for sure. Okay, work your magic whenever you're ready. Megan, are you with us? This is my friend Larry. We have some questions to ask you. Hi, Sally Face. Holy fuck, Knuckles. That's not a nice word, Larry. Ha <laughs> ha, you have to forgive him, Megan. He's never seen a ghost before. It's okay. My daddy says bad words sometimes, too. Where have you been lately? What do you mean? I've been here the whole time. I've been trying to reach you. I think when you're alive, you can't see the other side. The other side? Yeah, that's where we all live. It's just like this side, but a little different. Do you know someone named Greg? Oh, you mean Mommy's friend. I like Greg. He always brings me candy. Can you remember anything else about him? Um, just that he was nice and always brought candy. Oh, and my daddy didn't like him so much, but I don't know why. What can you tell me about your parents? I miss my mommy. She doesn't talk anymore. What about your dad? Daddy scares me now. He scares everyone here, but he wasn't always like that. He used to be nice. Mommy. What happened? I remember they had a fight, and then he was sad. Then his sadness turned into angriness. Do you remember your last days? I don't know. It's all blurry now. Were you fishing at Lake Windigo? Huh? No, I've never been fishing before, but my daddy went sometimes with Mr. Johnson. Wait, Jim Johnson? Yeah, how'd you know that? That's my dad. Oh, I guess our daddies were friends. <laughs> Can you tell me where he is? Do you know anything else about him? Please, I need to know. I'm sorry you lost your daddy. I don't know where he is now. I just know Mr. Johnson and my daddy went fishing a lot. Hmm, I'm sorry. Is this your necklace? Hey, yes, where'd you find that? It was downstairs in the bottom of the lost and found box. My mommy gave me that necklace. She was scared. She said it would protect me from the evil in the world. Do you know where your mommy is now? She's in her bedroom, but she never listens to me anymore. I don't think she can hear me. Do you think she... Uh-oh. What? Daddy's coming. He doesn't like it when I talk to people. I have to go. Bye-bye. Wait, I... Shit. Yeah, they never seem to stick around long enough. Well, we're going to need to get into that bedroom, but it's all boarded up. Can you find some tools for or can you get some tools for us? Actually, David borrowed my mom's crowbar and never gave it back. Would you mind going and getting it from him? I've asked him like three times now, and he always has some excuse. Maybe you'll have better luck. 
Sure, I'll head down to the third floor and see what I can do. Oh, David, you scamp. But first, let me play this game. Playtime was interrupted by the promptly setting sun. In that moment, the young girl realized she had gone too far deep into unfamiliar woods. Hmm. Rocks? Maybe we follow where there are no rocks? Question mark? Oh, that looks different. Ah, aha, where have you been child? You have me worried sick. I'm sorry, Mama. I was lost and it was so dark and... Hush now, my sweet angel. Everything is okay. Here, I want you to have this. Grandma's necklace. It will protect you from the wickedness in this world, so you don't have to be afraid anymore. What about Father? He doesn't have to know. This will be our little secret. Hmm. Yo, D-Dog. What's up, brother? Can I borrow your crowbar? I'd love to lend it to you, but it's the only thing holding up my shelf right now. See those kids next door in 301? They're nice kids and alls, but they have these real loud parties sometimes. Shakes the whole wall and my shelf falls right down, da. If Yins could talk to them for me, get them a little quieter, and then I could let you borrow this crowbar. Okay, I can talk to them. Thanks, Sal. I do it myself, but I'm out of clean clothes, you see, and I just hate to be the old party pooper, you know? It's not a problem. I'll be right back. See ya. Hey Sierra, what are you up to? Oh hey Sally Face, I'm contemplating an alternate activity for tonight's party. My friends and I usually like to do our own thing, but I'm having trouble narrowing it down. Is it okay if I look over your list? Sure. D&D, &D, movie night, video games, chess tournament, karaoke, debate. Ch chess tournament? How about this? It has been a while since we've done a tournament. That's the perfect choice for tonight. Yo, what up, Sal? Hey, CJ, what are you up to? I'm trying to choose the music for our party tonight. Mind if I have a look? Go for it, little dude. How about this? Dude, I think this would put everyone to sleep. Hey, Z, what's up? Hey, Sally Face, I'm trying to choose a game for the party tonight. I've got this little book of games, but I don't know. Can I take a look? Be my guest. How about this game? Hmm, you know, this reminds me of grade school. That touch of nostalgia could be just what this party needs. Thanks, Sal. Can I check out those songs again? How about this? Huh? You know, there's something interesting about this one. It's unexpected. It's classy. I think this could work. I think that does it. Their party should be much quieter now. I don't know, man. Classical music can get pretty banging. So, I don't know. That might be a mistake. Sup, Buddha? Can I borrow your crowbar? I worked it all out with the college students. They're going to have a much more low-key party this time. Well, wow, that's great news. Thanks for helping me out. Sarah would be so happy, too. Last time our wedding picture almost blowed up to pieces. I'm glad I could help. Right, let me grab that crowbar for you. Just one second. There you go, buddy. Take care. Thanks. You, too. Great. We've got the crowbar. There's only one thing to do now. Let's, let's go upstairs. That, you know, that's do the thing. I shook the camera. My bad. Hope you're okay. Are you okay? You're fine. Should be able to pull these boards off with the crowbar. Yeah. Let's do this. Oh no, Stacy? Are you okay?
There's a hole in the wall. Looks like there's room on the other side. Uh, no, I don't think I will just yet. Firstly, I'd like to play this game here. When her husband learned of her indiscretion, Stacy knew there wasn't much time left. In fear for her life, she turned to an unlikely ally. Okay, she said, I need to cut the power lines on each floor. I hope we can pull this off. Alright. Neat. Great. Wonderful. Oh, ouch. And I have to start all the way over if I fail. Not a great, not, not, not a great sign. Ooh. I can't take that now. Okay, Rosenberg, I cut the power and Greg disposed of the bones. Good, and I've destroyed the seventh book. Will we really be able to stop them? We've got a good chance. Nothing is guaranteed, but I think we might have done it. I should have never let the, uh, things get this far in the first place. I'm sorry that Luke had to get your family involved in all this. If we can stop the ritual, then, we, then the council won't have another chance to perform it for a thousand years. Then I pray to God that this works. God doesn't care about us, my dear. Don't waste your breath on such things. We must fight for our own survival. Okay. That is very curious. Well, then I guess I go in the hole, because, um... That's pretty much the only thing left I have to do. I hope I unlock those last two games in the hole. I would assume I do. Point of no return, I got this. He hello? In a moment, he found himself somewhere else. Even though Luke wasn't sure how he ended up here, he knew what must be done. The woman is a threat to us. She cannot be trusted. We will accomplish great things together and cannot afford any obstacles. Oh, well, that's not a good way to start this. He is fast. The child will only slow us down. She will never follow us with her mother's treacherous blood running through her veins. This is getting real sus, you know? Walk with me into the, the undying flame and our power shall be endless. Hmm. Yikes. Luke, can you hear me? Luke? Well, I don't like that. What the hell just happened? Todd gave me one of his inventions. He said it theoretically it could overload and destroy an evil spirit. After I got it, I came upstairs right away to make sure you were okay. It's a good thing you did. So that red-eyed creep has been here for decades? That was before I was even born. Maybe I'm not cursed after all. Yeah, who knew Addison Apartments had such a dark past? I thought living here with Charlie was freaky. Damn, this shit is nuts, dude. 
Well, I don't think we'll have to worry about the demon showing up anymore. Todd's thingy seemed to uh, seem like it took care of it. Oh, what is it? No, that's great and all. I was just thinking, I guess since there's no curse, this means that my dad, he, he just... Oh, poor guy. That's sad. I'm sorry, Sal. That's our time for today. The guards are giving me the look. Wait, that was only part of the story. I had hoped to get some honest insight from you today, especially with this being our last session and your trial in just a few days. I swear on my life I've told you nothing but the truth. Government conspiracies, demons, ghosts, and some kind of magical video game system? Sal, these things don't exist. You really can't expect me to believe you. Think about it from my perspective. The evidence against you for what you did. Well, it is profound. I thought you just said you didn't believe that it was me. That's wrong. That's just rude. I know how it sounds, but what I've told you is the truth. Go to the treehouse. Please, just go and see for yourself. You'll find all the proof you need. What a fucking psycho, eh? Oh, I am he now, and he is me. They're filled with clothes, books, cassettes, nothing of importance. Seems to be a photograph of Larry's parents. Nothing strange about it, though. Rusty tools and other various junk. A few old amateur paintings, probably Larry's. Ugh, there's absolutely nothing up here. I don't know what I was thinking. I guess I just needed to see for myself. Sal was so convincing and this whole thing has seemed off. Dr. Enon. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Don't freak out, man. We need your help. You've got to get Sal out of jail. This shit is much deeper than we thought. Please. So Larry's dead. You have to get Sal here. Th this, you, you're, you, you can't be. Calm down, dude. You're going to give yourself a heart attack. This is important. If Sal doesn't get here soon, then, oh. Shit. Well, that is not so great. Mm-mm. Hey, look, there's the red ball. Oh. I thought it was over. Is this real? Am I dreaming? White room... Okay, uh, don't forget what I told you. Find me in the white room. Okay. Okay. Other, no, you're killing me here. Um, something, 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 you, something, 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 here, uh, something, but you must not speak of this place to others okay the only one who believed you is dead now what should I do run rise run oh uh, no uh, run run
Oh. Don't like that. Mm-hmm. There used to be a door here. Did I do it? Because... Is it true that you have chosen to forego legal help in favor of representing yourself? Yes. I've got nothing to hide. Can you speak your conviction of being innocent, an innocent man? Are you sticking with the story you've told the police? I will share the truth. Are you saying your original story wasn't true? I have no comment on that. Can you comment on this supposed person that allegedly killed your mother? How do you explain no witnesses or evidence of any such person? I don't see the relevance of that now. Is it true that they are going to add the Sanderson murder to your charges? That would be news to me, but honestly I wouldn't be surprised if they tried to pin that on me too. And what about Charlie Mansfield? I have nothing to say about him right now, except I did what I thought was right at the time. Okay, since we aren't getting any major details from you, let me ask you our highest polled question. The viewers are very interested in this one. Is it true that you are granted special meal privileges because you are uh, afraid of bologna? I am not afraid of lunch meat, okay? I just... Well, it's a long story. Your trial is still a few hours away. I think we have plenty of time. Ugh. Alright. Alright. We are going to stop there. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace and prosperity. See you later.